are 200,000 unwanted horses and so many are slaughtered. All these horses don't know the feeling of love and trust from a human. They just live their lives not knowing what love is. I never knew what the better half of me was until I met my best friend. At first, he was vicious, mistreated, and didn't know what love was. When I first met him, all I saw was teeth come at me. But when I looked in his eyes, all I saw was kindness wanting to come out. When we brought him home, he didn't trust anybody, didn't want to be near anybody. But I kept trying because I knew he wanted to want somebody to love him. I could not feel a connection with him since I lost my best friend that I had before him a few months before I met him. I still missed him so much and I was scared that he would replace him. Weeks went by and he started to trust me every second, every day. And in his eyes, I noticed that he's come to love me for who I am. I could not fully love him back, but I knew that I found a friend that I could go to whenever I needed somebody. But I knew there was something between us, something that I couldn't explain at, at the time. I knew that I wanted to be with him every second of the day and just talk to him all the time. As months went by, we became stronger together knowing we could accomplish anything when we are together. I became to know that there was a spark growing between us and I knew that I didn't want to live without him. I started to learn even though I missed my old best friend that he was still always going to be in my heart but it was time to have another best friend that was going to be in my heart forever. As we grew stronger together, he's started to feel every emotion in my body, even before I even knew it. I knew I wanted to take care of him for as long as he lived, and knowing that he was happy made me happy. But when he was in pain or sad, it made me sad. I wanted to do everything in my power to take care of him. We took him to the best hospital in the world, knowing that I could have him back in my arms. But the day he stayed the night, it was like a part of me wasn't with me it felt like part of my soul left for a while the bond between us was so strong that we knew what each other thought that we knew what we wanted but i knew he was my goofball and he might have been a jerk to other people but i knew he loved me A year has passed and we became partners, accomplishing anything that was thrown at us. And he became my soulmate, my teacher, my therapist, and even my sanity. He became my life and well, the best thing that's ever happened to me. People say I saved him, 
and that it could be true but for me he saved me and made me the best part of me i could ever be and i thank him for that every day